Guys, I am here today at 1746 Lewis River Road in Woodland, Washington. I'm at an awesome three bed, two and a half bath home that sits just under an acre of land. This is truly a waterfront property sitting on the North Fork of the Lewis. You have access all the way to the water. There's trails that bring you to a private beach and there's a huge fenced backyard. This property sits in a quaint town of Woodland, Washington, which is really close to I-5 and is super convenient to PDX. I can't wait to give you the tour. Guys, I'm here at the front of the property, and one thing I have to point out to you is it does sit right on the road. But in 2025, the state's coming in, and they're going to do a silence barrier as well as some bike lanes. So let me just show you that road. The key to this house, and I would say its biggest selling feature, is the fact that it's true Lewis River frontage. It's the backyard that's gonna sell this house, not the front yard. But I do wanna continue showing you the front of the house first. There's actually really wide RV parking here to the right. You have a stamped concrete driveway, which is pretty awesome. Garage doors are fully insulated. They're extra tall garage doors, which is a huge selling feature. Hardy board siding with new exterior paint. And then they did this dry stacked uh, stone, which is a really nice feature. It's got this cool concrete walkway. And this is one of the coolest parts about this house, guys, is actually entering it. This is a tough one to describe because it's an open concept layout with this huge great room right off the hop. I mean, just look at this. 20 foot ceilings, tons of natural light, gas fireplace. You know, you're probably wondering, how do we uh, close the blinds on those windows? Well, we have the answer for you. Check these out. I always love stuff like this. Yeah, these are fun. And now we'll go up. But this is all wired for a television above the fireplace. You have this really practical storage solution here. Coats, shoes, stuff like that. Another feature, central air. That's always handy. And double paned windows. Guys, we were just on that road and there was road noise, but when you're in this house, exactly, you don't hear anything. Pretty cool. You just don't see construction quality like this on a home this competitively priced. Off the hop, you enter into the kitchen, which has high quality luxury vinyl tile floors. This cute office space, custom cabinetry, really cool butcher block island, and then kind of this granite tile countertop, which is neat. They've upgraded all the appliances to be stainless steel. And another fun little feature is the central vac. Good pantry space off the kitchen. More pantry space and storage under the stairs. A large garage. Yep, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's an American garage, but extra tall, extra deep. It's got 240 wired for uh, shop work and stuff like that. The polished concrete floor. And then a cute little powder room off the kitchen that's really functional. This is kind of the Eden dining room. They've done some architectural grade finishes here. But again, guys, look at the amount of natural light in this home. It's really spectacular. Let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the primary bedroom after I figure out how to use baby gates. Honestly, you need to be a mathematician to figure these things out. All right, up the stairs we go. Once again, another hurdle, AKA a baby gate. When I had my firstborn, these things threw me for a loop every time. Whew, first time, can't believe it, got it. All right, off to the left. Let me just back up a little bit. Master bedroom, again, guys, what's really cool, it's large, but vaulted ceilings. Again, you just don't see this in this price range. Large walk-in closet.
large master bathroom, double pedestal sinks, shower, walk-in shower, and then one of the coolest parts is this balcony off the primary bedroom. From here, you can sit down, have a beer, have a coffee, do what you want. And you actually have views of the Lewis River through these trees. It's a perfect kind of rectangle lot. You have trails down there. This is a great way to kind of show you guys how large the backyard is. It's pretty big. And then just look at the size of this balcony. This is your private balcony off of the primary bedroom. Pretty amazing. All right, who's ready to see some of the other bedrooms? Okay, so back to storage. This property has a lot of storage. Extra storage here for the upper floor. Off to the left, again, a generous size bedroom. Tons of natural light. Stuff like this is really important if you're gonna be kind of in your home quite a bit. Back over to this bedroom. So they're pretty large bedrooms. The flow of this house is really good. And then the laundry room, but it's a large laundry room. Access to the attic there. All right, guys, just a few other things. This is all solid wood railings, wrought iron work down here. The custom finishes on this place are just unreal. They have all solid wood trim work and finishes here. Um, they didn't spare any expenses on the finishes, uh, which is kind of apparent throughout. We're gonna do a quick tour of the backyard next. All right, are you guys ready? This is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the trail that directly accesses the Lewis River. Got these fun little steps. Do, 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 do. As you can see, this property drops off a little bit to get down to the river. And that's because in the winter months, this will get a little bit wet. Look how beautiful this is. It's like a magical garden to give you guys an idea here, that's how much it does drop off. It is quite a bit, but this is a, basically a meadow of alders and cottonwoods and vines and reeds and all sorts of just really unique species. A lot of riverfront properties does have this, but here, I mean, you could have uh, campfires. You could literally pitch a tent in your own backyard, dirt bike trails, hiking trails, um, this place just keeps going. Look at that. That's where I came from. How beautiful. Look at this. God sure knows how to paint them. I mean, look at this place. North Fork of the Lewis River epic fishing out this way. The coolest part about this property is this really neat beach. It's a fully, it's a full sand beach. So swimming off of it's a breeze. I've actually jumped in off of this more than once. Come out here, have a beer, take it in. And what's really cool, you guys probably can't see it because my lens isn't polarized, but three steps in, you're into nice and deep water. See how it drops right off? This is so cool. Guys, this is all part of that property. This is just under an acre, but you have this great access. This little beach area that I'm looking at right now is off to the neighboring property. They usually don't mind when we walk through the trails, but nonetheless, you can see in the distance where your trail actually starts through those reeds. So you also do have really great water access. This is a common image here on the Lewis River, people kayaking and taking it all in. You can literally launch a kayak right from your house 
The North Fork of the Lewis River has awesome fishing, awesome recreating. The water's a little bit more chilly here, but that just makes it all the better in the hot summers that we experience out here in the Pacific Northwest. Today it's about 87 degrees. We had thunderstorms yesterday. So it's slightly humid, which isn't very common. Um, but to jump in today would be absolutely epic. And if you watch my other videos on this property, I do take a leap in and it is super satisfying. As you know, my name is Jared Ritz. I am a lifestyle real estate agent out here in Southwest Washington. We find beautiful places with beautiful people doing beautiful things. And I can't wait to show you the next one. Cheers.